Hey there folks, Luke here with the Outdoor Group Review. I hope you are all doing well. It is Military Surplus Wednesday and I have something highly unusual for you all. Now this is the British Military Electronic Countermeasures Rucksack. This thing is definitely strange. I've never seen anything quite like it before and I wonder, have you? 360 time. Go and get comfortable. Let's take a look at this pack now. Now, as you can see here, this is one unusual looking pack. And this is an electronic countermeasures pack. And it was designed to carry like heavy electronics communication equipment. Now on my scale, this came in right at six pounds. So it's definitely not lightweight, but it's also not super heavy either. When it comes to the materials, this is a 1000 denier Kedora. And when it comes to the camo pattern, that is the desert camo. All right, now let's take a look at all the features of this pack. First, lots of mesh here on the front mesh along the tops. You also have this big hole right here for electronics, antennas, and so on. You do have a drag handle reinforced. You have more of that mesh right here with a clasp. Large opening. Going to the front, this is a large zippered compartment, and we'll get to that in just a second. As you can see here, there is no molly on this pack, so you cannot add additional pouches and so on. On the bottom of this pack, you can see these rubber placements. Very thick, strong rubber. That way this thing can sit on the ground. This pack was designed to stand up. Flipping the pack over to its side here. Some very unusual features. First off, you have a pocket on the side, which goes all the way down. As you can see, very good size pocket with a buckle. There's additional mesh on the inside of this pocket and on the outside. So you can have that heat releasing from this pack if you were happen to carry some of the equipment that this thing was designed for. Now going down from that, you have this zipper. Undo it. And what you have here is an expandable pocket with buckle, which offers you a ton of space as well. Flipping the pack over to its other side, it's the same amount of features. Taking a look at the front of this pack again, you can see just how wide of a pack it really is when you have these pockets unfolded and ready to go. Now, flipping this pack over to the back, it's apparent that this pack was built to carry a very, very heavy load. You have load lifters here on the shoulder harness. Very, very thick shoulder harness, by the way. Very good quality. Actually, this thing is incredibly comfortable. It really is. Extremely large waist belt. Major lumbar support here. Look at how big this waist belt is. I'm not sure if I've ever seen a waist belt this large. It is meant to hug around your hips to help you carry a very heavy load. Oversized buckles all the way around. Everything is fully adjustable as you would expect. There is a little bit of molly here on the waist belt so you can attach different pouches. You have a couple of zippered pockets as well. You do have a quick release system. I've never actually seen these buckles before. This is a completely different design and I really, really like them. That is awesome. This waist belt is removable. It is hold on there by Velcro. Adjustable sternum strap. All that good stuff like you would expect. Going to the front of the pack, let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. Now you do have a ton of space with this pack. It unzips all the way down. And I have a full size duffel bag inside of here. Now, as I mentioned, this is a true military surplus item and this is called the Universal Bergen ECM pack. The NSN number is 8465 99 666 88 81 going to the inside of this pack right up here at the very top you have a small zippered compartment which has a plastic window on one side and a hole on the other i have no idea what this thing was used for not a clue below that you have access to a pocket which goes down the back side of this pack. There's also a foam frame sheet which you can have access to. 
going down, you have all sorts of compression straps. They are all over the place. There's at least three compression straps with buckles, and there's a fourth in the middle that does not have a buckle. You have these raised sections on the top and as well down at the bottom, and that is likely to keep your electronic equipment away from your back so it can breathe some. <laughs> I've never seen a pack like this before. It is truly different. Now down at the bottom, you have a pocket which has a divider in it, which I assume your electronic equipment would sit in into these dividers. So yeah, definitely an interesting feature. Now when it comes to pockets and all that stuff, that's pretty much it. Now when it comes to the dimensions of this pack, you are looking at roughly 25 inches tall. It is 24 inches wide with the expandable pockets. And it has a depth of around nine inches. Now I picked this pack up from militaryclothing.com. It is legit British military surplus. And like I said, I've never seen anything truly like it before. I'm not entirely familiar with electronic countermeasures, but this thing is awesome. It has some really interesting features. It's extremely comfortable. Now I have to admit, I'm not entirely sure how you would use this backpack on say a hiking trip, a backpacking trip, or a bushcraft trip. The fact that this pack is just open, it has this big gaping hole in it, poses some problems, especially in such a buggy area as mine. I am sure though that I could come up with, with a way to seal this up, and that's something that I will do in the future. Now, I do like the fact that it, it is covered in this mesh. That's highly unusual. Now, of course, if you're in a wet environment like I am, that may not be the best thing in the whole world. Now, if you're in a dry desert environment, you may think this pack is really, really cool. It may fit well for you. Now, I tell you what, I challenge you all to figure out a way to use this pack. So if someone happens to go out and purchase one of these, or if they have one, let me know how you used it yourself. I could definitely see carrying this pack. The support that it has here is incredible. I have never seen a waist belt like this before. I've never seen one so dang big. It's extremely well padded. It does not have an internal frame. It has a piece of foam on the inside and that's about it. So it does not have internal aluminum frames or anything like that. I like the expandable pockets. That's very cool on the inside. Yeah, very unusual. You could definitely use all these compression straps to hold in your gear to really hunker it down. And that is what I will do personally. I will take this pack out for an overnight trip. I will figure out a way to use it. Now, as I said, this pack did come from militaryclothing.com. And if you're interested in purchasing one of these, this will run you 80 bucks. So my question is folks, how would you use this pack? Considering the fact that it has all of this mesh, it has the holes in the top. Yeah, it is an interesting piece, that is for sure. All right, folks, that is it. That is our look at this electronic countermeasures pack. This is very interesting, isn't it? I am looking forward to reading all the comments down below here because I'm sure you guys have some interesting things to say about this. If you guys have had any hands-on experience with this pack, make sure to share with everybody else. Thank you very much to militaryclothing.com for sending this pack my way. I do appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, you know what to do. Strength and honor, everybody. Take care. Be well.